Hello YouTube friends. We're baking today. I am making uh, biscotti, which is something I always make at Christmas time. I know we're a long way off Christmas, we're halfway through November, but I will be making these again for Christmas and I'm making these because I need to um, give them as a gift tomorrow. So we're going to make biscotti. Biscotti is a lovely Italian twice baked biscuit. Actually the word biscuit means twice baked uh, but um, <coughs> almost never do we twice bake things anymore. However we do biscotti. You might be familiar with them in coffee shops. You dip them in your coffee and uh, they're delicious. So biscotti then, uh, one of the first things we need to do is sort of uh, roast the almonds a little bit. There's all sorts of different nuts you can put in biscotti but almonds is traditionally the one that I like to use. Now these almonds are from my friend who uh, has a little house in Spain and they go a lot and these are from her garden. So um, it's going to be really nice using these. So we need, I've written the recipe out, it's on here, we need um, 150 grams of almonds and um, for the recipe for this one, uh, I might have mentioned before, there's a newspaper called The Guardian, which does a column called The Best Of, or Cook The Best, or something like that. And I always start there, if I'm making something like this, to see what all the different recipes are. And uh, so they collect together all the best recipes and give you all the best tips so that you know that this one is going to be an amalgamation of many recipes. It's going to be awesome. So I've got 150 grams of almonds there. And one of the things they say in Cook the Best is leave the skins on because it gives a lovely um, texture, um, colour. You know, you get the right, the rims of the almonds. But now what I need to do is put those in a hot oven for about six or seven minutes. So they can go in there. Well, you just turn the oven on. So six or seven minutes is more like eight or nine, isn't it? So we'll put that in for eight minutes, ten minutes, and see how we go. Okie dokie then. I'll wipe that out because all the bits of almond are in there. There we go. Now then, the next thing that the cook the best suggest is that the sugar and the eggs be whisked together to add a little bit more lightness to the biscotti. They're supposed to be a dense biscuit, but um, you don't want to break your teeth on them. So I'm going to measure out the sugar, and this is caster sugar. How many? 250 grams of caster sugar. I'm making quite a few of these because I have a, uh, a son who's very fond of them. 250 grams of caster sugar. And then we're going to whiz that with the hand whisk and the eggs. grams of caster sugar and two eggs, two lovely fresh eggs collected yesterday. Beautiful. One, two. Okay, I'm just going to make a noise now. beautifully whisked up now so we'll just leave that there till we need it and while I was whisking that I measured in here 250 grams of plain flour a teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt and the only other thing we need now is the zest of a lemon now the bad news is I haven't got any lemons I've got some oranges there. I'm going to have a go at zesting 
this um, satsuma, whatever they're called. Yeah, that's fine, look. So I'm figuring, you know, the zest of a orange will be just as nice as the zest of a lemon. And if I finish these and get the time, I've got some other things I need to do today. I'm gonna dip, half dip them in chocolate. So chocolate and orange is a match made in heaven, isn't it? Okay then. Always worth checking down the recipe to make sure you haven't left anything up. Okay, that's the almonds now. They're just toasted a little bit. It brings out the flavour in them. Uh, actually, I need to leave the oven on because we're going to be going back into there in a minute or two. So now these are hot, of course, but... So now I'm going to chop these just roughly because you like you like to have nice big chunks of uh, almond in your biscotti. So I'm not going to chop them too finely, just roughly chop them. So that's done. That's great. So in here then I've got the flour, baking powder, salt, zest of the orange, and now these almonds. And now I'm going to combine this with this. Now we've gone to all that bother of putting the air in there. The last thing we need to do now is knock it about so that we lose that lovely air. So now I'm just going to fold this together. That's just about combined together. It's a lovely dough. And the next thing we need to do with that, we're going to cook that on this lime baking sheet here. Now the less I handle this, the nicer it'll be. We don't want it to be stiff and hard. They're supposed to be hard biscuits but they don't want to be really break your teeth hard and we need to separate this into two like that and I'm going to make two long sausages. Quite even like that and transfer them to the baking tray and they spread a lot so you have to give them quite a lot of room either side to make them nice and even now they go in the oven for 20 minutes but I'm going to look after 15 so we'll use that time to have a big old clean round I get back to you when I've done that, but I can't turn the iPad off, which is the cleanest finger. That one. <laughs> back to you soon. Okay then, so I'll leave the oven on there. And the, so the biscotti, Got you out of the oven now uh, in their sort of long logs. And I'll leave the oven on, but we'll let those cool down for five, ten minutes because then they'll be easier to slice and they won't. If I slice them now, they'll compress down on themselves. I want them to hold their shape a bit better. So I'll come back to them in about ten minutes' time. So I'm back now. And these are cooler now, I can handle them. Okay, I hope you can see. I'll take them both off here. 
and the insides are still a little bit uncooked but that's how it should be because next I'm going to put them onto the baking tray and cook them again. So I'm going to put them on their sides. So I'm going to lay them out on their sides like so and then they go back in the oven again. They have about 10 minutes on one side and then I turn them over and they have 10 minutes on the other side. Okay, so that's one side. I'm going to turn them all over now and give them 10 minutes on the other side. Ow. So all those are turned over now and they're going to go back in the oven. The oven's on about 170. Five more minutes in the oven at 150, 160, 170, around there, just to dry them out, really. OK, then, here they are, out for the last time. And they're going to go on the cooling rack now. I'll just leave these to cool here and then we'll do the final stage and now the final thing that I'm going to do with these biscotti is dip them in chocolate so in this bowl here I've melted some dark chocolate and I'm just going to swirl it round like that Get a little bit of a chocolate treat on the end and then we'll lay that down on the parchment paper here here they are all packed up Got a little tag on and they're all ready to be a birthday gift today. Put the kettle on, make a cup of coffee, ready to go. I'll be making some more of these with different fruits and nuts and maybe white chocolate, uh, dipped in white chocolate at nearer Christmas. But uh, have a go. Let me know in the comments if you make it and if you like it. See you next time. Thank you for watching.